Let me introduce you to whiteboard cast. Whiteboard cast create whiteboard based screencast without PC. All you need is Android tablet only. Let me show you demo. You can write canvas like this. Like this. And this floating toolbar is not recorded. Okay, now let's record. Let's recording. Let me introduce you to the basic features of the whiteboard cast. First, four color pens. Black. Black. Red. Blue and green and also eraser eraser and and do and redo and do and do and do and do and do redo redo and pause and resumes during pausing I can write the text so I will write text here during pausing. Now let's pause. Now it's pausing. What I speak now is not recorded. And I will write text here. Resume. Okay, let's resume. Now it's resumed. And what I speak now is recorded. And this blue text written here. This blue text is written during recording. And clear. Clear. That's all for basic features of the whiteboard cast. As you can see, whiteboard cast is really simple and easy to use. I design the whiteboard cast with teacher in mind, not only for IT specialist. But it's not a toy. For example, whiteboard cast can undo really many times. Undo, 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 undo. Redo, 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 redo. Many undo and many redo. Also, the performance, performance during recording is highly optimized. As little lag as possible. Moreover, whiteboard cast try to sync timing between audio and video as a real-time manner. So no audio delay as screencast continues. So as you can see, whiteboard cast is, even the whiteboard cast is really simple, it's, it's developed for real use. And one more thing. Whiteboard cast stores the final result as a standard video format. WebM. So you, if you want, you can edit or convert format using other convert app or other editor, as a standard video editor or st other video format converter to convert the format. Also, you can use the any service you want which supports the WebM. For example, YouTube or any normal web service. You can use any web service to share your result. And also, if you want, you can use internally only because Whiteboard cast does not require, does not depend on any specific service. So you can use it internally if you want. And 
In this case, you can use the standard video player which support WebM. So your students or your audience do not, do not need to buy whiteboard cast. They can use the standard video player. I believe the content you create must be able to survive even after Android will be no longer used or unfortunately for some reasons you no longer you no longer use whiteboard cast even after that your your content your content you create must be survive survive so I think it's it's vital it's it's vital that the result format is not locked into any app specific format or any specific service. Then you can accumulate your content as a long living one. So I think the the result format is really important and I use the WebM standard normal video format. That's all for whiteboard casts. Thank you for watching this demo. Then you can choose whether play or share. Whether view or share. This time I post to YouTube for this demo. And I'll add the URL for this demo later so that you can check the quality of the this application. Whiteboard cast demo demo write later write later Now you can post the, your video to the YouTube like this. And the result format uh, the, and the result, result screencast is stored in your SD card slash whiteboard cast folder. That's it. That's all for Fightboard Cast. Thank you for watching this video.